fall, the default army worm was positively identified from samples collected in the Limpopo province. The samples were jointly collected by scientists from the ARC Green Institute, the Northwest, the Northwest University. These were caterpillars that had to pupate and emerge as months before a positive identification could be done. The shin months were collected on Friday, 3rd February, from the northern parts of Gauteng, and positive identified as fall army worm. Fall army worm is native to South and Central America, and also occurs in the southern state of the USA. The first detection of fall army worm in Africa was notified in January 2016 when it was supported from Nigeria. From there, it spread to several other West African countries and to Central Africa by April 2016. Media reports from Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Malawi indicated an outbreak of this pest during December 2016. DAF informed commodity and research organizations of a possible threat and encouraged producers to report suspicious pest, pest damages. The initial post possible pest reports, which led to sample collection and positive identifications. The fall army worm is a strong flyer and could be distributed by prevailing winds over, over large distances. The department realizes that transboundary pests and diseases, especially migratory pests, threaten food security and that coordination regional efforts are important to address these risks. The department will therefore participate at the upcoming engagement hosted by the Food and the Cultural Organization, which, which claims to strengthen and align efforts, strengthen controls of plant and animal pests and diseases. We will equally continue to our engagement with SADC to ensure early warnings of these biological threats are in place. The South African Emergency Plant Pest Response Plan is already in motion, which deals with new pest detections in South Africa. The actions implemented depend on the pest, the extent of the spread, and the, ex and, 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 and the extent of the damage. Now that there is a, pos a positive identification, DAF will continue with assessment of spread and damage awareness actions to provide farmers with accurate technical information and control options. Pheromone traps will be imported into South Africa to determine the exact extent of the spread and the specific strain of FAW present in South Africa. Diagnostic support has been increased to deal with the bulk of the sample identification. As the fall army worm is a new pest to South Africa, no, pest, no pesticide was previously re registered to be used against it. A process of emergency registration of chemicals is ongoing with two active ingredients are already registered to be applied against this pest. As we as with all agricultural remedy applications, the label instructions must be followed in accordance to the supplier's recommendations. Having received the various reports of the incidents of the pest and having undertaken sample collection in Lepopo and Gauteng, the department will now undertake a more comprehensive survey to determine the spread of the pest. In parallel to this, damage assessment will be done and, as appropriate, the necessary actions undertaken to manage the pest. An awareness campaign has been rolled out to all provinces to provide technically correct information regarding the management of the pest. Extensive information on this pest is available from other parts of the world. We have identified specific research focus areas in South Africa that will allow for a deeper understanding of the behavior and biology of the pest. This will enable the, the improvement of relevant management and control strategies. The department has also initiated a plant pest action group, which consists of members from provincial departments of agriculture, researchers, several producers, associations, and industries which may be affected by this pest. 
the group will meet regularly to, ev to, to evaluate progress and results. The presence of the pest will be notified on the International Plant Protection Convention's portal in terms of South Africa's international pest reporting obligations. SADC member countries will also be notified and regional control measures will be discussed. I appreciate the support already re received, expressed sorry, from Green South Africa and South African national seed organizations, the ARC and the Northwest University to assist with the pest surveillance. I will be visiting some of the affected areas this coming Friday. Crop producers are encouraged to report suspected presence of this pest to the department. Thank you. Yes. The, 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 the biology of the pest is well known in its uh, native land in Mexico and Brazil and other parts of Central and Southern America. Um, this, this is a tropical species. It's a tropical army worm. There's about um, uh, 30 species worldwide of about six, the six uh, species of Spodoptera in Africa. Uh, we're used to the, the common African army worm, and there's various other um, army worms that, that uh, are crop pests here, but this is something new. As I say, it's, it's, um, it, it has a life cycle of about uh, 40 days, uh, 24 to 40 days. Um, it's, a, it's a prodigious flyer, so it gets onto the prevailing winds and, and can migrate large distances. So it comes as no real surprise that it is, it is encompassed or uh, covered vast areas of Africa very quickly indeed. The first reports we got were in January last year um, from Nigeria. And then uh, during April, it had spread across the, the uh, crop belt in, in uh, northern Africa. And then we didn't hear about it for quite a few months. And then in December, it started to pop up again in, in uh, Zambia and Zimbabwe. And before we knew it, 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 it um, came down here very quickly on the winds. Uh, being a tropical species, like the normal African army worm, uh, we're not sure whether it's going to overwinter here, whether it's going to persist, persist. It doesn't have a dormant stage, a diapause, so it has to continue uh, feeding and breeding. So we, we, we presume that the, the cold winters on the high felt here will, will cause a disruption of that uh, breeding cycle, but we don't know what's going to happen in the, in the more tropical areas of, of southern Africa, and uh, this is something new to us. As I say, we know about the biology from overseas, but we know very little about it under southern African conditions, which we've got to do a lot of work on. In agriculture, pesticides that are used to control pests and diseases in this country, uh, in terms of the, the law, must be registered before they could be used. Now, since we heard about the outbreak of the, the, the worm, uh, the department, together with the pesticide manufacturer, embarked on a process to have that um, pest included amongst the, the pests that should be controlled by various uh, pesticides. Now, in this country, to get registrations of a pesticide, manufacturers are required to provide scientific data to prove that the product will work and also the product will be saved when it is consumed by the, the consumers. Likely, with respect to the worms that we are dealing with, we already have identified a number of tools, number of chemicals that are already registered among various crops that we are confident that um, if growers, farmers could use those products according to the level instruction, the, the product will be used safely to an extent that we are confident that um, the consumers would not be, the use of this product would not pose a risk to the, to the consumers. Currently, we have received a number of applications from the pesticide manufacturers and the process of getting those products registered is ongoing. How soon can the pesticide be in the hands of the farmers? 
And what steps in the meantime should they take? The, the pesticides that have been identified um, are products that, in our view, uh, should be already with the cooperatives or in the farmer's store, because those are products that are normally used, that the farmers normally use to control various pests. So we think that um, the, the product that we have identified are products that are readily available to the, to the growers. Can you give the size of the affected area at present and your predictions in the coming months? and what crops are mostly affected, maize or grain. And the second question is whether you will go to Harare for the FAO conference on the army worm, and what would you suggest there to do? What is your plan? Thank you. Thanks. What we have observed currently is that the pest has been attacking uh, sweet maize, so sweet corn, and other maize that is planted for seeds. The extent of the spread has not yet been identified, as we said, or quantified. We are still working around the clock, except to say that the, the, the identified provinces are the areas in which it has been picked. We will not be able, therefore, to quantify the extent, as we believe that an active action, as explained by Mr. Mazunga, is to make sure that, where possible, pesticides that have been identified to work, their, their prescriptions being followed, taking into account safety to humans or to consumption taken into account, we will be able to overpower or overcome the problem, especially with the shown assistance or or participation of different stakeholders, as have been mentioned in the statement. As to whether we will attend the meeting at Harari, yes, we are planning we will be attending the meeting as a department. Our aim, as we have shown in our statement, is what is needed more within our continent is the exchange of information, the way in we can be able to work together, not only to identify, but be able whenever such a, 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 a disaster causing worms are detected. We're able to share information. We don't wait until they strike us. I think this is a lesson we have picked as we're saying that having to attend that meeting is to achieve that, that example that no country should be an island. All of us must be engaged because the impact will be devastating, not only to South Africa, but for the whole continent.